So now to finish off this wonderful Punjabi entertaining meal, we're going to make some apricots. And they're really simple, but they're something my mother made so regularly throughout my childhood that I now think it's Indian food, although I know it's not. And I used to help her when I was young because it was away from the fire. So I've enlisted the help of my six-year-old daughter, Mahi, to do what I used to do, right? All right, so to start off with, I'm going to put some sugar in a pan and make some syrup, basically, with some water. So a bit of sugar goes in. And a bit of lemon peel, just for a little bit of extra flavour. And some water, which I'll put in from the kettle. So do you do a lot of cooking with mahi? We do lots of things that are away from the heat. So what do we do? We do baking, we bake cakes. Sometimes you make some rotis, yeah? Yeah. See, there we are. Right, so I've got my stock syrup here. When that comes to the boil, you add in your apricots, which are just simple dried apricots. So I'm going to add them in carefully. So you bring back to the boil and you cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes just until they're just soft. Okay. So here I've just got some double cream which I'll finish off whisking until it just holds its shape. So that should be fine. So I'm going to bring this here. So when I was young and I used to help my mum make this dish, I used to help her in the kitchen at this stage, but then dessert would always go out after dinner and my parents eat very, very late. So I would try and wait up and stay awake until they'd had dinner so I can have some dessert. But invariably, half the time I'd fall asleep. So I'd wake up the next morning and I'd go and check in the fridge to see if there was any left over. And generally there never was. And I used to always complain because I always made them and I never got to eat them. And they're absolutely delicious. So there you go. So now I just make them myself so I don't have to worry about it. OK. Mahi, you've got your piping bag, OK? You're going to have a practice pipe, OK? The practice pipe? Now, put your hand where mine is and then have a practice. Squeeze, stop. Get it? Yeah. OK, now wait till I give you an apricot. Hold it. Okay, so these apricots have been cooked for 20, 25 minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to slit them open where there's a natural line in the apricot. Then you open them. Did you want me to hold it? Squeeze with your upper hand. Yeah, yeah. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Fantastic. That is perfect, Mahi. Thank you. Is this hard work? Mm. No, it's not. I tell you, kids these days and hard work. They have no idea. Okay, go. Squeeze. Good, good, good. Keep going. Keep... No, we need more cream than that. Keep going. So, do you want to do one more without me? Yeah. Do you on, holding it in your own hand or on the board? Then I can chop my pistachios? Yeah. OK. So these pistachios have just been skinned, and it's really easy to skin pistachios. You soak them, and then when you have some time, you just peel off the skins. They peel off really yeah. easily. Mm -hmm. And they're worth it because they have a, just give you that really vibrant, beautiful colour. Yeah. Thank you. Can you put them in the row? Maha, you're doing such a great job. Next one? Next one, yes. Sorry. OK. <laughs> what did you do? It's coming, coming out from the top and the bottom. OK, I think that's enough. Now, do you want to get the, that silver tray to put them on? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. So where did your mum get the recipe from? This recipe is actually a Turkish recipe, and I think she had a Turkish neighbour at some point when she was in London, before we moved to Geneva, even. And she taught her how to make them. So I've got some orange blossom water here, which I'm going to add into the syrup. Just a couple of drops, literally. So this is done. OK, and I'm going to drizzle over some of the syrup. That is lovely and viscose. The syrup that the apricots are cooked in, that has just uh, been thickened down. And I added a little bit of orange blossom water, because I like that floral fragrance. But because there's no sugar in the cream, it's uh, good to make sure there's at least some on every one. OK, mahi. Sprinkle a handful of pistachios on them, please. That's perfect. Yeah, OK, put some on the middle ones. Perfect. And some on these three. So here we have our lovely mum and our daughter apricots with orange blossom water. And that rounds off our fantastic, entertaining style menu. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, it's all in the decoration. Try and do it from a height. Hi. Hi. Do it high.